why do you not help Ilta SIG meetings? And I need to put out there that you're both involved in behind the scenes of SIG meetings, putting them together, getting the content and the right experts. So this is more about um, what's the value in getting involved in the heavy lifting as far as SIGs are concerned? I've been involved, well, probably a couple of years in the SIGs since we sort of really relaunched them. Um, I, I, I mean, I think, you know, just just going back to the start, when um, when we were looking sort of externally from the firm at what other firms were doing in the, in the sort of the knowledge sphere, it's very much like who you know. And, you know, if you don't know that many people at firms, um, particularly because we are, you know, sort of a US firm, um, it can be very difficult to know what else is going on in the market. And I think, you know, from my perspective, it was very interesting to get involved in a SIG because not only do you benefit from the meetings and sort of the content and everything that goes with them, you actually get to to, to understand how ILTA is run as a very big organization, you know, the drivers for, for ILTA and the six themselves um and i think just knowing people behind the the, the scenes just allows such a, a vast growth of network um you know i wouldn't have any hesitation in in speaking you know picking up the phone speaking to a vast array of, of people that i've met not only at the sig meetings themselves but in the organization of those meetings and the wider ilta family you know we've got what five or six people who are fairly active in setting setting up the meetings you know giving ideas and i don't i don't feel that it's you know vast portions of time it's not like i'm taking half a day every few weeks or something like that you know it, it is certainly nothing like that and as i say you don't mind spending that extra time even if it's you know evenings and weekends to make sure that these things get get going because we all see such a a great benefit of them and i think you know we've seen with the the sig meetings that we've had people have then wanted to be involved whether that's speaking a, a sort of a subsequent meeting or whether that's helping with other things or giving us you know leads on other topics and things like that i think it's been a real collaboration i think that's one of the the real strong points that people don't shy away from you know being involved so as you say it's not like it's it's landed on a, a single uh person's so shoulders to sort of you know put all of that time in when I first started at Travers in particular, I was the only um, technologist, I suppose, as a fee earner um, that was living in a bubble of e-discovery or e-disclosure all the time and um, making some decisions on my own that normally I would have been part of a team. Um, I am a board member um, for ACEDS in the UK as well. And I knew through that network of people that I had great support and challenge from others, especially around practices that I thought were correct, maybe others didn't. Um, the big part, however, with ILTA was a, an educational point. There is always a developmental point within my industry in particular is that it's technology focused in a very murky environment sometimes of investigation and finding snippets of information that is just bewildering at times, uh, but also quite complex to, to to work through and the creation of the meetings and I was introduced to a, a, a colleague of mine who um, I, I asked her where it, where else is there to go in our industry to meet like-minded people but actually and importantly people that were also in law firms so that I could hear their experience too. Ilsa has given me that challenge of working internationally and, and meeting new individuals that I wouldn't have come into contact with previously but it's also given me a bit of a kick to realize how I need to develop myself as well um, and, and hopefully support others in the industry that are coming through. I think those are great points I often I, and you mentioned particularly the fact that in a typical SIG meeting, you'd have mostly people working in law firms. And I don't quite think people get that because of how different and unique that framework is. And obviously the big one is the, the eye, the global aspect to meetings through that you can engage with similar professionals. And with COVID, we've, we've had to do more stuff virtually as well. So then the content is now vastly available to people that normally wouldn't be able to physically attend a SIG meeting in London and it's been interesting to see how people are consuming and reacting to that as well so thank you both for that i learned something uh, what type of discussions are at sig meetings and can you describe a sig meeting you found really useful and why did you find it useful we've tried to sort of tap into um 
any sort of knowledge worker so you know we have knowledge management people we've had lawyers we have professional support lawyers it's anyone really who's dealing with you know knowledge data however we want to however we want to look at that whether that's in a law firm or whether it's in a corporate with you know a legal entity um, and I think what we've tried to do is is understand, you know, the problems that people are facing um, and therefore have, you know, quite open non-vendor discussion um, about that problem. Um, and it's been very good. And I think, you know, that with the, the vast amounts of solutions that are, are currently on the market being touted around, you know, the sort of the new things that are coming up, um, I think having that broad brush of, of people within the SIG itself, you know, people can talk about a whole array of different things and people have been absolutely um uh, you know honest about their their um sort of experience of certain things maybe too honest one you know people <laughs> might think but i think it's given us all such a such a wonderful understanding of you know how how somebody's using a product i mean with something like a, a new search tool or an automation tool or a client co collaboration tool you know how on earth do you get the best out of them how do you know what is there you know if you are a, a vendor selling that you are not going to sell the, the bad points of it um and i think you know there's there is there is a lot of um, uh, a lot of this legal technology on the market. So I think what we've tried to do with each SIG is, is look at solutions to problems, but, but take a wide range of solutions. So, you know, document automation, there may be a particular person in the market that is a very, you know, widely used, but also looking at uh, other solutions to that, you know, getting people involved, making it, you know, quite vendor agnostic. Um, and I think that's been, that's been really good. And I mean, we've just gone from one meeting to the next with, you know, is there any carry on from the last meetings about things we want to talk about? Do people want to bring in anything else? Um, and then just advertise that to the, to the ILTA group. And as I say, we've, we've had such a, a wide ranging um, group it's been it's been brilliant to have the views of, of so many people and some of the, the 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 debate has become you know sort of fairly heated in a, a, a pleasant way shall we say um as to you know the the best um course of action dependent on you know what the firm and what the individual needs are um so i think i think you know we've we it, it's been it's been brilliant i think we've 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 not tried to set the agenda too far in advance either because we know that things change um, and there's there's been a couple of times when we've we've you know had to change things that we wanted to speak about because something else might might have come in. Um, I think yeah, I think it's just been it's just been very very open, and everybody at each meeting has been very willing to speak about what they're doing. So I couldn't I couldn't necessarily pinpoint a single a single meeting. The, the meetings as a whole are just so good for that sort of general conversation. Um, you know, as Nikki said, it's just people sort of talking about things that that brings out that 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 sort of uh, the facilitation of different ideas, and I, I think the SIGs have been brilliant for that. Nikki, you must have a favourite. It's the whole one. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, ours are, or for the ones I've been involved with the last couple of years, have certainly been centred around an event each year. So our meetings are very much um, not structured. There's a loose. Um, there's a loose agenda for the majority of the time, but it is in, in gear to planning towards events or a significant change or support guidance within the industry. And actually, so far for me, that's been great. But I think as things start to change and we come out of the other side, not only for COVID, but for some of those law firms that have adapted for these types of roles, it is hoped, I suppose, that we will start to have better or slash different types of conversations about those technologies and um, about those types of types of project management about the types of matters that are causing us difficulties and there are some of those discussions that happen, that happen at the moment some of the conversations we've had over the last couple of years have been about different courts in different regions international expectations regulatory investigations and the challenges that that may bring and really how we're then having to train our own lawyers or um, or senior team on the abilities within the technology to automate where we need to, but still to do some forensic practices uh, more often than not with some of the data we're handling. Um, in particular, it's to see faces that you speak to on the phone all the time as well, uh, especially where um, you're speaking to a tech technical team that are on the other side of you. And you may have been speaking to them for months and months and months and have no idea who they are. The SIGs are fantastic ways of actually knowing, ah, <laughs> that's who you are. I have met you a number of times. How embarrassing. Um, it changes that conversation. And it definitely is a 
there isn't one meeting again, I get similar to John that I can pinpoint, but actually what I can say is for the meetings that have been had and the calls that we've had, it's always been towards the goal of improving and developing the educational process, but also the information out there for people coming through or existing in law firms. Kind of hinted at it, Nikki, about this whole element that, you know, the things are changing to embrace new people in the industry. And I wanted to ask you both, in terms of SIG meetings and your role, what value do you think that has given your position in your firm? And I think it has value for the younger um, professionals entering the field. If people are going to come to a, to a SIG meeting, they need to have some um, you know, experience of whatever we're going to talk about. And I, I think to some extent that's correct. But also, we've had on a couple of them where they've been quite specific to, to topics and they've, you know, they, they always go off track and, and so on. And that's great. Um, but a couple of people have, have actually said they've raised their hands at the start and said, well, look, I haven't got a great understanding of this, but I work in the, the knowledge area and I, I would like more understanding. You know, and as long as people come and say that and they are keen to learn and they ask questions and things i don't think we're saying that oh this is this is for an expert conversation on x y or z i think anybody with a with a with a sort of a passion to learn and, and, a, and a, a need um on their behalf to get more information on uh, on how things are being used or what people are doing then I, I would hope that we're totally open to that and i think if people come and say you know i don't know a great deal about it but this is where we are and this is what we want to achieve then i think that's great you know i don't think there's this um, you know, there used to be a misunderstanding that sh- this shared information was so someone could take it away and use it. But in actual fact, you know, that, that's not the case with, you know, people wanting to come and learn about experiences of an automation tool or, you know, a uh, a contract analysis tool. I think, you know, nobody's going to just take that away and, and go with it. I think this is discussing um, how something like that works and therefore it's beneficial to anybody. So if you're thinking about using a product that might give you some, you know, better understanding or experience, um, you know, if you're looking at, at, at doing something else, um, then again, you know, we can't really sway the, the judgment. It's not like we're selling things. It's it's people's honest opinions of, of products that they have used and experienced. So, so I think you know, if if somebody wants to come and, and talk about that and get involved, then we're we're only too happy to have that um, you know that, that that full range of of those people there. So you know, experts in 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 one sort of particular area won't be experts in others so I think you know if they come and they keep coming I I think there's a lot to learn and I think you know ILTA can only encourage that and as Nikki said you know we need these people coming in and sort of sharing their ideas because people look at things in a very different light if it's their year one year two of being involved in legal knowledge technology so to our involvement in ILTA I I wouldn't suggest that it it gives me any sort of additional kudos or anything like that um, within the firm I, I think that the benefits are, you know, there for everybody to see, and it may well be that that extra sort of um, information type work that you're doing externally is is beneficial for you within a firm. It doesn't necessarily happen to us, but I think I think people are very supportive of ILTA because there are so many ILTA events, particularly sort of here in the US, that everybody knows what it is. So I think people aren't going to say, "Well, why are you going to that ILTA thing?" I think from a, you know, it, it would be it's seen as a a, a, a very positive thing. Yeah, because I like Nikki's po- um, comment about starting out in a role and being the only person essentially in your team doing what you're doing. It must be surely good, a good thing to be able to mix with other people because then you can check if you're on the right path because a lot of it would have to be you driving innovation and sometimes you might get things wrong and someone else can save your whole lot of time in the process by foreshadowing in a sense so I think that in terms of your actual role and position I can see it being a good personal development tool almost. There are lots of conferences uh, around and centering around technology um, and they're, they're all at a variety of scales, I would say, in terms of the um, plethora of individuals that go, the content in which they talk about. But some of them are very much geared to selling a specific product or selling um, something down the line that is key to your happiness within your job for, for technology or, or um, project management. The difference with ILTA has always been the conferences are open to educational expression. There may be um, technology providers there and service providers, but actually the um, the ability within um, what ILTA has offered 
has meant that you pick what you go and have a conversation about. You also pick what sessions you attend. It also allows you to open up your network for different areas to do with knowledge management, as an example, um, or pieces of technology that you don't come into the active working with every day, but you know your client is. And the more that you start to build your knowledge factor on that, it, it gives it a, a better or it certainly for me, it's given me a wider knowledge base that I may not have been exposed to before. And how does that centre back into my firm? Well, it's not, I do not necessarily shout about everything I do with Ilta, but the educational sessions that I think are appropriate, absolutely. I uh, will, of course, push those forward and, and, and show those out to the teams. Um, for also some of the documents that have been produced off the back of that, I use them and I use them with teams. And I also use them as a development tool for um, maybe other practitioners. And, and are you aware of this? There's also the part that I think for meetings, it, it should be open to everybody. There will, of course, be occasions of topics that not everybody in the room will know, whether you've been in this industry for 42 years or four years. And actually, I think the difference is more about the, the knowledge base, the personality types coming through to, to build that next level. E-disclosure, e-discovery, litigation support may not be the same as it is right now in 10 years' time. But the history process of how people are developing their skill set will, within reason, be the same. You learn from other people. You learn from you doing your own research. And the SIGs are supposed to be another open plethora in which you can feel confident, secure, and know that the people around you, you trust. But within reason, they speak the same language as you. And on the international scale of that as well, not all of that is going to... Deposition may not mean exactly the same thing in the UK or barriers regarding data protection may not look exactly the same in France or Germany. But you then start to open the understanding as to some of the legal context that comes within that, depending on where somebody has worked previously. And those SIGs can absolutely give confidence, but also connection points to those in all areas. And it doesn't matter whether you fall into any type of category. Everyone's on the same plane. You're all going to a meeting to be there to support one another, but also to find out a bit more about what's going on. Also, I like showcasing how the states operate because it's sort of a unique aspect of ILTA across the pond because in the um, US we have members congregating by according to where they live. So it's very interesting that we've adopted this framework, which is more based on your expertise and your field. And I think that has a lot of value in itself, really, as you know, as as we've discussed with you much in a couple of minutes ago. Um, so that brings me to the end of our conversation today. I'm so thankful and so grateful to both of you for being willing to share your experiences and being very honest and open about the value you've had on a personal and professional level in terms of being involved with the for sake. Do you have any other pointers or any comments to make before we end the um, interview? Um, I, I think I would just comment that the reason ILTA works so well is because the professionals like Mercedes um, that support the development of this have actually continued the avalanche of work that goes on behind the background. The reason this is so successful is because of the humans that are actually working to make this all come together. And that, in comparison to some of the other conferences or maybe other um ongoing institutes that support that's that's the real difference that's made the real difference to me and for others that I know have got involved and that there is a trust base there as well and it makes a massive difference like a massive difference within law but for technology and how that can change it, it's a huge part of it thank you and I would only sure. second that <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay so on that note we'll wrap up now if you wish to join us sig we have details online on exactly how you can do that um, john is from the knowledge management sig and nikki's from the litigation support sig which are open to all of our members and non-members working in those fields